Life Audio. What do you do when it feels like everything around you in your life is falling apart and you need to get back on track and you need a little extra dose of strength? You remember this. Hey, it's Amanda Carroll. Welcome to the big prayer episode of the Get Your Brave On podcast. This is the prayer to experience peace that surpasses all understanding, even when things are chaotic around you. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'd love for you to follow this podcast so you don't miss an episode. Every Tuesday, we do a brave prayer. Every Thursday, there's another strategy to help you get your brave on and live a strong and courageous life because I feel like that's what God wants and needs from his daughters right now. And if this means something to you, could you share it with a friend? Thank you so much. And leave a review. I'd love to shout you out in the next episode. Like this one, her username is Just Emojis. I love that. This is from Cross Heart and Lightning Bolt. (laughs) Phenomenal. She says, thank you for your authentic and thoughtful episode with Blessing Offer. I truly enjoyed listening to such a genuine conversation of insightful and inspiring words of wisdom. May we always navigate through the plot twists in life with belief and truth trust that there will be brighter days ahead. Yes, there will be. If you need more help, you can get my free book, 30 Days of Thankful Prayer. Download it at getyourbraveon.info. Praying for peace today. God says he gives you and I peace that surpasses all understanding. But I don't know about you. Sometimes I don't feel like I have that. <laughs> like Just this morning, I got some bad news and I was in a pit of anxiety so much that I physically felt it in my chest. My chest was tight. My throat was getting tight. So in that moment, this is the brave prayer that I say that I'd like for you to say with me. Do you want to pray? Okay. Father, you say that you give us the peace that surpasses all understanding. Father, help us to actually unwrap it. Help us to realize that there is nothing that we did is the reason why we're not experiencing that right now. (laughs) There's nothing we can do to earn it. There's nothing we can do to lose it. It's just like a gift that's wrapped with a beautiful red bow under the tree And we just need to open it. So God, today we open up your peace. We breathe it in. And we breathe it out over and over again until it surpasses all understanding. Help us to be that person around all of our coworkers and all of our friends and our family today, God, that no matter what kind of chaos and calamity is going on around us, that we can stand firm in your peace because we know that you never lie. We know that you never go back on your promises. And when you say you will give us the peace that surpasses all understanding, I want it. Give us that deep desire to crave it so bad that we have to figure out a way to get close enough to you today, God, to experience it. We let all that calamity and all that chaos and all that stuff that we're worried about in our life and and we exchange it for that gift of peace. We take that peace, open it up, take that lid off that box of peace, let it just fill us up. And we take all of that nasty stuff that we're so worried about. We put it back in that box, God. We close that lid as tight as possible and we return it back to you. Here, God, you deal with that. You deal with the family. You deal with the kids. You deal with the news and the stress that's going on, God. Because you say that I can have your peace that surpasses all understanding no matter what. And I want to be that person that has that peace today because I know there's other people that need it. And there's other people that are not strong and courageous right now that you can use me. You can use my brave babe that's saying this prayer with me right now that we can say, okay, it's okay. I'm full filled up with peace today so I can give you some of mine. Help us to be the person that doesn't react in arguments Help us to be that person that doesn't RSVP yes to every fight that we're invited to. Help us to be that person that is positive on our social media today. Help us to be an instrument of your peace so it can be contagious. 
So it's not just us begging for your peace that surpasses all understanding, but us breathing it in right now. And then us breathing it out over everyone we come into contact with. Because that is the way to make bravery contagious. Because when we were at peace, knowing that you love us no matter what, knowing that we have your grace, the ability to do through us what we could never do on your own, we can make brave decisions and courageously move forward in loving, peaceful, and making a difference in what you really say. Help us not to be part of the PR problem of God. Help us to be the PR solution. This is not on a way. We're a loving people. We're here to help. We're not here to judge. We're here to meet your needs so you can see the loving God that we know. I know I feel that peace. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Again, if that meant something to you, I would be honored if you could share that with a friend. You can just copy the link and text it to them. Say, hey, you want to say this prayer with me today? That would mean a lot. And if you want to go deeper, I have this 30 Days of Thankful Prayer free book for you. All this month, we're doing the 30-day challenge, every single day being grateful to God. Every single day has a prayer and a journal space for you to write down the things that you're grateful for. Because when you focus on all that you don't have, you never have enough. But instead, when you shift your focus onto all that you do have, you're always going to feel like you have so much more. And the book is totally free to you. So take the challenge. Just go to getyourbraveon.info and sign up and I'll email you the free book. It's easy as that. And if that's not easy for you, no problem. Just text me the word brave and I'll send it to you. I have a special hotline just for you. If you need prayer or if you want to highlight something that's going on that you need some bravery for in life and you'd like to leave me a message on the special hotline, I might even answer the phone. I try to get to him as many as I can. Please call it. Like, I mean it. Like, you're not bothering me. It would mean a lot for me to hear from my brave babes because my vision for the Get Your Brave On podcast is that we could be a community sharing our experiences because when you hear that somebody else got through something, it gives you the courage that you can too. Bravery is contagious. So if you need some bravery, call my special hotline. If you need a prayer, call my special hotline, 530 for Amanda. And follow the podcast so you don't miss Thursday's episode. It's going to be incredible. Another strategy to help you silence fear. Also want to say thank you so much to my friends at lifeaudio.com. So many amazing faith-based podcasts about prayer and parenting and devotions and more. Check them out at lifeaudio.com. And together, we can get our brave on.